Hi there and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This is episode 7 of the challenge series in which I play as Commander Shepard who is a soldier yet not allowed to use any weapons. Now I have traveled to Armstrong Nebula for, th for this episode because uh, the Alliance contacted me with information about ongoing Geth incursions in, very, in the various systems within uh, this cluster. So right now I am planet side, uh, I forget the name of the planet, but it is in the uh, Gagarin system. So I've traveled to uh, a science outpost, which is believed to have been uh, taken over by the Geth. So far I haven't really encountered any Geth, however there were a, a number of dragon's teeth outside, which uh, surely means that, I, that the uh, science staff is probably turned into husks. Yeah, in, fa in fact they have been. Now once you see those, uh, those devices that were present on Eden Prime, you pretty much know what to expect. And so the, the husks are coming out of the woodwork as they have been known to do and uh, trying to get the electrical based attacks to fire off so far without great success yeah good luck buddy no nope. yeah, i've got trying but failed oh, okay that guy got me through the wall kudos and i think we're just about ready for a singularity i ordered liara and uh, tali to uh, stay behind because they pretty much just get in the way when fighting husks the husks get in range of them, then they activate the electrical attacks, then I start getting hit by attacks on, uh, on all sides, even though I'm trying to uh, basically hurt these guys. So that I can then use melee attacks to keep them on the ground, like so. Now once you have them in a, in a big pile, it's, it's fairly easy to, uh, to defeat them afterwards. They take a, a bunch of damage, I'm by bypassing their shields, and uh, they have no chance of getting up. Okay, so uh, well, that was fairly easy. I have... Huh, thank, you. thank you for the confirmation, Tally. I have a little bit of uh, looting to do, and after that we'll be on our way. Uh, I might have uh, spoken a, a bit too soon. It seems that there are still more husks. A couple in this on this side, and a couple uh, on the other side as well. Are they going to be smart enough to actually find their way to me? Uh, it seems like they are. Just when I started uh, underestimating husks. There you go. Oh, and one of them even even I uh, got. It. Kudos, guy. Kudos. So, yeah, there is a there is a singularity. One of them's still running around. Yeah, I can, I can get all of them. So, overload. Increase the damage uh, taken. Warp, and while that's happening, just start knocking them down. Uh, this guy looks like he just about succeeded in getting up. Yeah, a couple more to go. Fairly easy. Decent experience too for uh, for how little effort is uh, involved with this. Now, of course, uh, last episode or the one before, uh, where I was fighting a number of husks uh, in a mine all at once. Yeah, that was that was not so easy. I think we got him, Commander. Okay, great. I, I hope you're right this time because you already gave me the all clear, and uh, it turned out that there were four more. So now I'm going to do a little bit of looting, and after that we'll be on our way. <laughs> And after a little bit of uh, uneventful looting of various crappy items that I'm going to be selling for uh, for a little bit of cash, I've told Liara and Tali to uh, stand on either side of this uh, little hallway because the Geth have shown up. I guess it would have been a bit anticlimactic to be sent here to investigate Geth incursions and all I could find were husks. So the Geth have, uh, I mean, it was pretty obvious that uh, we had husks as a result of the Geth's presence. I very much doubt that uh, these uh, guys here jumped on the dragon's teeth all by themselves. However, let's go ahead and, uh, oh really, I hate it when they do that, even though he is, uh, he's hacked, he's choosing to go after me, it's a, that's a waste of a perfectly good uh, AI hack right there, but oh well, what are you going to do, I didn't close the door fast enough, if I'd done that, uh, I would have gotten out of his uh, line of sight, and at that point he probably would have turned on his friends, but uh, it is what it is, took him out, good job Dolly. Okay, and you throw on this guy as well. Yeah, there you go. Not sure which one this is, the one that I hacked or the other one. That right, doesn't matter. He has a shotgun, he's charging me. I think that's gonna do anything. Yeah, just a little bit of health damage. Look buddy, if you wanna duke it out, that's fine with me, but we both do pretty much no damage, so uh, that's gonna take a while. And get the destroyer. Okay, pop immunity. Got me to have health. And yeah. There you go. I gotta be careful. That's a sniper. You know what? Why don't you uh, come and play for my team for a little bit? And 
leave his friends to uh, take care of him. Now, I think there are probably more, there, there are probably more snipers in here. Usually there are. I guess very rarely only bring one sniper. And these guys are just terrible. Two of these trooper guys shooting at the sniper, not even doing it. Do you guys even have line of sight on him? <laughs> that was awesome. Because, uh, okay, yeah, you reduce his shields a little bit. Well, kudos. And that's about it. Okay, so warp on him. Uh, that's pretty much going to take care of him. C cover you. Stay, stay in the hallway. That way I won't have to cover you. Okay, I guess uh, it was two snipers and a bunch of these useless uh, get troopers. I think there is one more somewhere. Where are they shooting at? Oh, he's right there. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, turn off his weapons and lift them up. Oh. Wow, I didn't even realize the troopers could put up the shield. I thought that was just the uh, the shock troopers. Oh. Is that guy still alive? Yara, did you... Uh... Oh, I guess uh, I didn't hit him with warp. Yeah, only hit him with sabotage. That's my bad. There we go. He's down, and with that, I can uh, leave this place. And as soon as I uh, step outside... Yeah, no kidding. Uh, what, what tipped you off? The, uh, the get dropship right there? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take control of that shock trooper. Help us a little, he can help us a little bit. Okay, we have a sniper, so we're staying close to the edge. Throw for him. Yep, he's done. Not the only sniper, mind you. Oh wow, this, this guy is just kicking ass, taking names. Okay, wonderful. And you know what? I, I have no idea what's behind the boxes, so a singularity in the middle of everybody should sort it out nicely. Get trooper. Is there, is there a sniper or is it uh, or is it, yeah, that problem? I think we might have. Oh no, no, there's still a sniper. Ah, he was further. I see. Clever. And unfortunately, I didn't save the uh, lift for him. I stupidly wasted it on somebody who was caught in the field of singularity because I thought we're done. Uh, not yet. Hey, don't you, don't you be shooting at that. Uh, stop that right now. <laughs> and a few more whacks to the, to the flashlight. Should uh, just about do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'd be scared if I were you. Just, I, I don't know if the Geth uh, have a concept of fear. Wow, way, way to be a bus kill there, Liara. It, it, it is, in fact, a long journey. Now, we are done on this planet, however, so I'll be back when I am close to the uh, next outpost in the neighboring system. And uh, the closest uh, system to uh, Gagarin, the one I started at, uh, is actually called uh, Tereshkova, and that's for that reason, I'm, uh, I landed there. And we have a number of snipers as well as rocket troopers, plus a Colossus. Now, the Colossus is a problem, however, uh, he's not the most pressing, pressing issue at the moment. I'm going to focus on these guys instead. And as long as we stay outside of this little uh, circle that they're basically trying to defend for whatever reason, we're not going to have uh, too much of a problem. I say that just as they attack on my shield. Oh, and the arrow goes down. Okay, that's, uh, that's kind of unexpected. Oh, are you, are you sure? Because you sort of passed out there for a second. These guys are uh, starting to try and take and take shots at me while I am uh, pitching my way forward. Oh, did we just miss with uh, with that AI hacking? That's probably my bad. That's okay. So hit this guy with a couple of abilities, and the warp yeah pretty much takes him out. <laughs> and he dramatically falls out of the tower. Now uh, the sniper in the middle. He got hit by the sabotage, so at the moment he's not capable of using his weapon. The Colossus is uh, still firing at me, but he's not uh, too eager to press his advantage. Plus, uh, they are very, very slow. So uh, he's probably going to have a hard time trying to uh, come to where I am. Now, get Rocket Trooper. Warp is just about off cooldown, same with AI hacking. The annoying thing really is that when you're trying to take uh, troops down at a distance, Sometimes your uh, squad mates, for whatever reason, misinterpret your orders. So even though I was looking straight at that rocket trooper over there, Kali somehow missed with her um, AI hacking. 
I don't know what the heck she uh, she hacked. And here's the sniper trying to use assassination. I think we hit him that time. Oh yeah, we definitely hit him. And first thing he does is jump out of the tower to start fighting his friend over there. I'm not sure why he couldn't do that while he was in the tower, but eh, and he's dead. Snipers are uh, very, very flimsy. That's why they are uh, capable of pretty much one-shotting most of your squad mates. And sometimes even Commander Shepard. Because uh, they are not tanky at all. So, uh, glass cannons, really. No. Yeah, Liara hits that guy with warp. And that's pretty much two out of the three sides uh, taken care of. Now, we do have another sniper with... Actually, I'm not sure that we have a sniper. Another sniper? What do we do? Hacking on you, excellent, and then get out of line of sight. That is the surest way that I have found to uh, make them fight amongst themselves. I thought it was distance at first, but really I think it's uh, line of sight. The moment you break line of sight, uh, they have no choice but to start fighting their former friends. Assuming, of course, there are any, and if there aren't, if it's just one target, then uh, there's no point in hacking because they will still fire on you. Yeah, we definitely have one more sniper. So I'm going to uh, level a little bit. Relocate this side, and the guy is about to use assassination on the Mako, so let's uh, stop him from doing that. Yeah, he's pretty much done. He does not have yet. I did manage to hit him with uh, both sabotage and a warp. Now, for this guy, I probably should have started with the overload. Let's toss him out of the tower. Is that enough to kill him? I don't know. Oh, no. I guess it was enough. Okay, guys, try to <laughs> try to dodge that. They both get hit by it. Now, uh, the Colossus. Uh, you may recall that we encountered the first one of these on uh, Therum while trying to uh, recruit the arrow. And basically, the problem with these guys is that first of all, they're uh, immune to AI hacking. Otherwise, I would have uh, taken control of him and let all his friends do a number on him. The same with that um, armature on uh, on Therum also, incidentally. But the bigger problem is that, uh, actually let me uh, get a little bit closer to him so he can his health is doing this. The bigger issue is that they have health regen. Now there aren't that many units within Mass Effect 1 that have health regen, but uh, but I, I guess the guests spared no expense when they were constructing the uh, Colossus. And as a result, these guys do have it. So let's hit him with Overload. Remember that uh, increases his... Uh, Susceptibility to damage by 30%, makes him 30% more vulnerable, and then hit him with warp. So the overload is boosting warp's damage, and warp in turn should strip 80% of his defense. And as you're about to see, his health barely even moves. It just goes down by the tiniest fraction. So even if I were to use the Mako to ram into him, push him up the mountain a little bit, he falls down, doesn't take any physics damage. And of course, this is all consistent. Uh, with what we saw on Therum. Mind you, on Therum, I, I didn't have access to a warp. I was using Caden and Tali for that mission. Caden doesn't have warp. Uh, however, yeah, the Geth Colossus is completely impervious to, uh, to warp. So he cannot be destroyed this way. And since I cannot use the Mako's weapons, I'm basically SOL <laughs> as far as this guy's concerned. That's a problem because I need to be able to clear this outpost and a few others on, on uh, the neighboring uh, worlds to be able to complete this mission. Otherwise, if I cannot defeat this Colossus, I cannot proceed. I mean, I can kill other Geth troops in other systems, but I'll never complete the quest. And it's a problem because this quest rewards an item which Tali needs to complete her pilgrimage. Basically, it's, uh, it's a data cache of how the Geth have evolved in the past couple of centuries since they drove the Quarians off their homeworld. I very much would want to, uh, would like to get that item for Tali, and so while pondering uh, what to do when I was doing the prep for this episode, I remembered that on this particular planet, there is a Threshamoth right here in this area. So uh, I thought, what about what if I use the Mako to push the Geth Colossus all the way to the Threshamoth? I mean, yeah, it's time consuming. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show you uh, that whole process because uh, it's not exactly fun to watch. It's just me uh, pushing the Geth Colossus, letting him stand up because when he's on the ground, for whatever reason, I cannot push him any further and then repeat ad nauseum. So uh, my thinking was, uh, in last episode, when I was fighting uh, some Cerberus troops and they had Rachni in their facility, if you drop the uh, force fields, the Rachni will actually go after Cerberus, assuming you're not in the room. So uh, even though both factions were hostile to me, they were also hostile uh, to each other. 
and if I remove myself from the equation, then they went after each other. So my thinking was, well, I guess the Threshamaw and the Geth are probably not friends amongst themselves. If I just um, activate the Threshamaw and then the Geth Colossus is right there, I'll probably kill them very quickly because the Threshamaw has Acid Spit, which completely bypasses uh, uh, Shields. And also, I imagine melee, the, the melee attack that the Threshamaw has is probably enough to destroy Geth Colossus very quickly. However, when I was pushing the Geth Colossus over there, uh, something really, really weird happened. And I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm actually going to do most of the uh, driving uh, with the Geth Colossus over there uh, off, uh, off screen, off camera. And after that, and I'm going to show you the, uh, the moment when uh, uh, the thing that, that I didn't expect uh, to happen, happened. And here we go. Uh, it took about a minute and a half, but I've gotten the Geth Colossus almost in position. I don't know exactly where the spot is, I just know the general area, which is why uh, if it turns out that I have a little bit of work to do, that's fine. I hope you will uh, forgive me for uh, turning the camera back on earlier than uh, anticipated. But basically, somewhere around here, let's keep pushing him. Yeah, I've reached the flag. Come on, buddy, stand up. There you go. Oh. Yeah, he just explodes, even though he was at full health. Uh, it doesn't seem like you're, you're able to do physics damage to him with the Mako. However, it does seem that there is a maximum distance that uh, he's allowed to be from where he started. So he started here. I dragged him about just a little over halfway to where the Threshamor resides, and he exploded. So that is actually great news because it means that even on worlds where there are, there are no Threshamors, um, I can now defeat Death Colossus. Uh, I wish I'd known that uh, back on Theron because that's about 600 experience that I missed but I had no idea that this thing was even possible. All I knew uh, back then was that the lava no longer worked on the gas units, so I didn't think there was any way that I could have been the Colossus as a result of its health regeneration. Now, uh, you probably heard the gas dropship overhead. Uh, I need to return to this gas outpost where uh, I did all the fighting that you saw a little earlier because the dropship has left a couple of uh, Geth Primes and a number of smaller uh, supporting units that I also need to uh, destroy in order for, um, for this system to be rid of the uh, Geth incursion. And here we are. They just noticed me, so they're starting to open up uh, yeah, to Geth Primes, a number of smaller troops chewing through the Mako shield very quickly. Here's what I want to do. Yara, throw a similarity in the middle. And while everybody's just floating by helplessly, Try and ram as many of these guys as I possibly can. Now, I'm not really sure why the Mako is acting as if I'm repairing it. It's not regaining any shield, it, didn't take it, it, doesn't, it hasn't taken any health damage. I didn't hit the button to repair it, but for whatever reason, those gauges are just uh, showing up there. So, whatever. I have absolutely no control over that. Now, let's get out of the Mako. That's the last of them. Uh, that's definitely not the last of them. I mean, <laughs> you're lying to me right now. Uh, I, I wish that were the last of them. So uh, let's take a, a look see here. Yeah, we still have a number of troops. The Geth Primes seem to have uh, moved away. So let's go ahead and throw the Singularity all right. No, no, not, don't. I want you to throw the Singularity on the ground. There you go. And, okay. Actually managed to take out about three or four of them. Not bad, not bad. And these guys are by themselves because the Geth Primes stupidly went behind the, the fence and they're now completely useless. Okay, so we managed to take out a few more. Now, one of the Geth Primes finally has emerged. I think there's only one of these smaller troops left. That's okay. I am going to ruin his day by using AI hacking and then getting out of, out of line of sight. Oh, there is uh, one more unfortunate. Yeah, he got, he got murdered very quickly. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Now, uh, another singularity. I think we, we took care of at least one of the primes. And by took care, I mean he's sucked in the, the singularity field. Yeah, once again, see, it's acting as if it's getting repaired. I have no idea why. As I said in one of the early episodes, I'm doing this run without using Medigel, without repairing the Mako. I've no, I have no explanation of why that's acting as if I'm uh, hitting the repair button. And you can obviously see that it's not getting any shields or uh, health. I mean, it hasn't taken health damage yet. Now, I think all that's left is the Geth Primes. 
The problem with Geth Prime is pretty much the same problem as with the Colossus. Number one, they cannot be AI hacked, even with the master rank that uh, Tally has in that ability. And the second thing is that they also have health regen. Now, uh, I, I can duke it out with, uh, with one of the Primes, and I'll show you this. However, I don't want to be fighting them uh, as they are right now, because uh, as I'm fighting one, then the other is free to uh, shoot at me and whatnot. That's definitely going to end badly. Here's what we can do. Use the Mako to uh, basically try and separate them. Yeah, back away a little more, and then we're going to come around the corner. And the moment he does, I'm going to try and get him with the Mako and then exit this area. There we go. Okay, that didn't really work all that well. So, let's see, lift for you. I don't want him firing at me as I'm uh, trying to take care of his friend. Okay, yeah, that's a very impressive machine gun. Congrats. Yeah, you get back there. And push this guy towards the exit. Yeah, they're also not taking any physical damage really, or hardly any. They take a little more than the Get Colossus, but not, not by much. Okay, then get back, and once again, there we go. When they get a little bit of air, then, uh, then the inertia they have while they're flying through the air does a very good job of carrying them way forward. Okay, so just a little bit more. Now, I think that's probably, that's probably good. How many times did I hit this guy and he's taken almost no damage because he's constantly regenerating health. So let's hit him with Overload. And go ahead and hit him with Warp. He dropped the tech mine. Guys, back, back. Get back. Okay. He's down. Now. Oh, that's unfortunate. He, uh, he got us all with, um... What is this one called? Damping. Yeah, so, great. Because we're grouped together. And now I cannot actually turn off his ability to fire at me. For, oh, never mind. There is sabotage. Good job. Good job, Dali. Now I'm going to show you the full fight because it is very, uh, it's very tedious. I, uh, my, uh, my melee attack is basically not even strong enough. To, uh, to keep him from regenerating health. He's constantly gaining health. All I can do is slow down the rate at which he's uh, getting the health. By the way, here is uh, some proof that AI hacking doesn't work. Obviously, just used it and didn't do anything. So, lift him up. Basically, what you need to do is uh, keep him occupied, keep him uh, in the air, keep sabotage handy for, uh, for when everything else is on cooldown. And uh, eventually, just overload him, warp him, do a little bit of yeah, he's shooting at me. So, sabotage. As you can tell, Shepard can already take quite a few hits, and then uh, yeah, basically just just keep repeating that over and over and over. It takes forever. So I'm going to finish this guy off uh, off screen, and then pretty much do the, the the same thing to the other one. It's not difficult. Uh, you just gotta use the Mako and pretty much uh, use the same trick as with the uh, Get Colossus. Push them towards that spot, and they. Uh, they will explode or use the Mako to just uh, uh, do a bunch of physics damage. So after a bunch of trial and error with uh, with the first Geth Prime, this is what I discovered. Uh, the Mako does a little bit of physics damage to them, but not too much. Uh, so uh, between uh, the very small amount of uh, physics damage and the health regen that the Geth Prime constantly has going, it's actually very difficult to kill one with the Mako. It's possible, but uh, it's time consuming. So it, what works much better is, uh, I found, is uh, Tally uses Overload, the arrow throws Warp on him, and then you get in the Mako and start pushing him around. The Overload, I'm fairly certain, increases the amount of physics damage he takes. Uh, and then uh, the Warp pretty much uh, negates the uh, health regen during that time. So it is a lot easier to, uh, to do damage under those conditions. It is unfortunate that uh, you know you can't see the, uh, the cooldown of those things while you're inside the Mako. But you can just hop out every once in a while, hit this guy with uh, the sabotage to keep him from firing. And then, uh, you know, drive through him a few times. I don't know, what, what, what happened to you, buddy? I think he got glitched out or something. Oh, there he goes. 
so just uh, no, drive through them. Yeah, I think uh, I also figured out what was going on with uh, with those gauges that uh, I've only uh, seen when repairing the Mako. I think uh, I'm going through his dampening tech mine, and that is causing... Okay, that was actually a decent amount of physics damage right there. And that's causing the the ability to repair the Mako to go on cooldown. I think that's why those things are, are showing up, even though I'm not repairing the, uh, the Mako. Yeah, so just, you know, keep hitting them. Overload, just everything. There we go. Warp. Warp also reduces his defense, so I'm fairly certain that that increases the physics damage he takes. And again. And if all that fails, I'm fairly certain that if he lives long enough to, uh, to get him to that point, the, the first one didn't, really. After I made the discovery about overload and warp, uh, that if you get him to the point where the death colossus is, uh, he's going to get exploded because these guys are just not allowed to exist uh, beyond that point. Yep, so once again, overload, warp, and get in the Mako. I can throw some uh, deck mines, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, he's taking he's taking damage. Hop outside again, hit him with damping. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Now you do have to give him a chance to uh, stand up, otherwise he seems to be immune to the uh, physics damage while he's on the ground like this. I guess they didn't want to make it too easy. Makes sense. After all, these are the absolute uh, best. Uh, units um, that they get have that walk around on uh, on two feet. <laughs> that was awesome. And he's done. done. We're halfway there. Yeah, halfway there. Even though mysteriously it seems like there is another enemy unit over here somewhere. What is that all about? I think my map might have bugged out. Oh, it was a mine. He left a uh, left a tech mine. Okay. Well, so two down, two to go. And here we are, I've traveled to the uh, neighboring Hong system, planet side on uh, Caspin. Now, this is the place that I ultimately want to go to get outpost. However, over here where it says anomalous signal, there is uh, the uh, possibility for a lot of experience because there are a few heavy turrets as well as... Uh, oh, actually, I wasn't quite the right place. Uh, it's over this hill and uh, right here. So, a few heavy uh, turrets and a few armatures. Very easy to defeat. All you have to do is bring Tali. So uh, AI hacking, get out of our line of sight. And they're pretty much gonna fight amongst themselves. Yeah, the uh, heavy turret is uh, shooting at the armatures. The armatures and the other turrets were shooting at it, so no surprise, it lost the fight. And then I have to wait a little bit for uh, the cooldown on AI hacking. In the meantime, I could just up this guy actually no let's not do that let's just overload plus uh warp that's more than enough and then i am going to um, move over a little bit and the armatures are advancing on this hill which is uh, good news for me because it means i don't have to uh, walk too far there is the next armature now hack that one and get out of line of sight up in the mako Yeah, it's firing. This one just realized it, the one that I cast Warp on. Yeah, the turrets are uh, blowing, <laughs> blowing it away. Yeah, it's done. Another 600 experience. That's what I love about uh, fighting these enemies uh, that you're supposed to do with the Mako. You get so much experience so quickly. And uh, Tally is an absolute beast when it comes to dealing with the Geth. Uh, AI hacking just, just has no equal in terms of pure destructive power. So uh, this is, I think, the armature that um, I have already camped warp on before. And there's another one in far better condition. Now preparing to fire. So AI hack on it. And get out of my sight. Yeah, I took an unnecessary shot there, but uh, what are you going to do? They never listen when they try to uh, give them instructions anyway. Yeah, so two armatures fighting amongst themselves. The two turrets. Yeah, just destroyed that one. Excellent. Now. Probably pretty badly damaged, I imagine. Yeah, it's taken a couple of warps, a few shots. Uh, it's preparing to fire at me, however, I don't plan on getting the opportunity. So I'll hit it with warp. And 
go ahead and throw damping on it as well. That's pretty much done. And now the two and there we go, level up. And the two remaining uh, turrets are actually far away, so I do need to relocate a little bit. There's a convenient ridge here that I can use to uh, block line of sight. And after that, all that's required is to uh, get out, run up to the uh, top of the ridge, look down, aim at the turret, and hacking, and get out of line of sight. And that should be plenty. Yeah, they are shooting at each other. I wonder which one of them is going to win. Now, these things do a lot of damage. I mean, you saw how quickly those armatures were going down. Oh, <laughs> it ran out. And uh, the moment they were no longer hostile to each other, the, uh, the rockets phased through them. I don't think that should happen, but uh, uh, it is what it is. So AI hacking is almost off cooldown. I'm going to try and hack this one again because uh, it's, it's way closer. I sort of doubt Dali's ability to uh, grab the other one from here. Oh yeah, the other one is about to go down. Excellent. Well, they did very well. Just about destroyed each other. So now all I have to do is uh, run in here, dodge a rocket, or, you know, <laughs> kick a direct hit. And yeah, shut it down. Okay. And hit it with warp. This is just about it. Yeah, it's done. So deactivate this gift transmitter for, I have no idea what it does, but <laughs> uh, there, there was a button there, so I pressed it. And with that done, uh, on to the Geth Outpost. And I'm almost at the uh, Geth Outpost. The map is jammed. That's, uh, that's a pretty clear indication that we're almost here. Yeah, same configuration as we had on the last planet. A mix of snipers and uh, rocket troops in elevated position, guarding some kind of a ring for whatever reason. Okay, let's see if we can AI hack this guy. Yes, we can. Oh, that, that was an amazing shot. It, uh, it clipped, oh poor Liara, it clipped right through the uh, the end of the fence there and uh, took Liara out. Well, kudos man. Uh, yeah, okay, great. How about you uh, stand over here where Tali is so that you don't get uh, sniped again. Now we do have a sniper right there. He's uh, citing me for assassination. Uh, he's not gonna get to do it though. Now, I did a bunch of damage with sabotage and the warp should be able to finish him off. Now. I think the other guy will hit that guy as well. That means I do not want to uh, take control of him. Let's use Singularity on the back of the tower. Pull this guy out of position. Yeah, the uh, sniper just died. So, throw on him. That should probably be enough. Sabotage is still active on this guy. That's why he's glowy like that. Jeez, that does last a long time. I mean, I'm not complaining, mind you, but... Actually, let's see. Are they going to fire at him at least? Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, he's about to get double assassinated. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, and blown up. Yeah, those guys don't mess around. Guys, okay, so we have another uh, rocket trooper right there. Hoping Yara can hit him. And dodge. Yeah, okay, this time he didn't clip. Does he have warp on him? I really cannot tell. That's a sniper. You know what? Let's turn off your ability to... Uh, use abilities i'm not even sure that the rockets count as abilities or is because they uh, they seem to fire them out of uh, assault rifles and most of the time they actually fire just regular projectiles every once in a while they will uh, shoot a, a, a rocket okay those two guys are shut down at the moment so let's go ahead and take control of the sniper just so he gets assassinated by his friends oh, yeah he's getting shot yeah that's the rocket trooper firing regular projectiles and the assassination is coming oh and he's done <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Now, um, the problem with this positioning is I can't really uh, uh, see these guys over here, but hopefully Singularity might fix that. See, oh, there's a sniper. Okay, so I'll throw for him. And he's pretty much going directly to the stratosphere. And jumping back in the Mako, I think I need to reposition a little bit. The sniper is done. All there is left is uh, two of these rocket troopers. Clearly not a problem in this part of the game. However, uh, this one's almost dead, so orb for you, my good man. This one is at full health. Lift, shut him down so he can't fire. I need to get a little bit closer. 
I think he's gonna fall out of his tower. Yeah, it him. Oh yeah, he's definitely going down. Very slowly. <laughs> oh, dear. Come on, come on, buddy. What is with the uh, dramatic dive? <laughs> and he's down. Oh no! Oh oh no! My uh, my squad mates killed him before I could get to him. Okay, and now we have a dropship sweep swooping in. Now this section is a bit deceptive because the get dropship has a health bar. You can absolutely shoot it. Obviously, I'm not allowed to do that. And uh, it seems like it's dropping infinite amount of troops, but it really isn't. I think it drops a total of 20 of these guys. And after that, it just, uh, even if it's at full health, it just goes away. So all I need to do is kill uh, about 20 of these troopers. And frankly, in my opinion, this is the better way of doing it anyway, even if you could use the maker's weaponry. Because if you uh, destroy the, the, the dropship, you, you basically lose out on all this experience you get for uh, taking out all the guys he's dropping. And there are shock troopers and so forth. You know, pretty decent experience at this level. Now, uh, let's go ahead and get these guys together. Actually, that only worked on half of them. Okay, so I'll shut these two down. Throw a warp. Destroy their defenses. Basically, take away their will to live. <laughs> All that good stuff. Uh, this guy's getting a little bit close. So, toss them back. And is the... Yes, it is. And Hakim is ready. Get out of line of sight. And these guys should uh, be killing each other. This guy pretty much doesn't even know what to do. He's alive, but with, uh, barely any hit points. That was a carnage that one of the shock troopers did against somebody else. Another carnage. Excellent. Yeah, they have, they're all done together. Excellent. Now, another singularity over there. What about this shock trooper? No, this is still on cooldown. Okay, that's fine. So, take away his ability to fire. And a warp plus an overload should be enough for him. I think this one, wow, okay, not yet. I think I might be killing them a little too quickly there. Yeah, that was a carnage he just wasted on me as opposed to doing it for his friends. Okay, Warp is doing good work on this guy. And finally, yeah, get out of line of sight. They start fighting amongst themselves, regen shields, not like it's really necessary. I love the sound of the bullets impacting the, uh, the death. Of course, they're, they're metallic, so uh, I love the, the attention to detail there. Let's go ahead and shut down their weapons. Oh, nice carnage there, buddy, but you missed. So I'll make this guy a bit more susceptible to damage. And for these guys, just another singularity. Yeah. Oh, they actually managed to do a little bit of health damage. Respect, respect. So I'll drop this guy back. Those two died from that pathetic little impact. Are you serious? That that was that was nothing. Um, okay, so warp and uh, what is that dampening? I think, yeah. Okay, another carnage, another miss. You're on my team. I'm not even sure why, because you just used your uh, carnage. So, obviously, not the, uh, the best that the death have to offer. These guys are all fighting themselves. Even though the guy I actually had, uh, I, I guess I didn't get out, uh, out of line of sight fast enough. So, he refused to fire at me. Uh, at them, I mean. Uh, he he uh, chased me down. But uh, his friends were still sufficiently pissed that they opened fire on him. So one of, one of these guys uh, just dropped dead. Uh, run in there, do a little bit of melee. These guys are all very, very low. Yeah, barrier up. The damage really is pathetic. I mean, I just took a carnage and it's, it's really not doing anything. Yeah, take control of this guy and get out of line of sight. Yeah, so they start to uh, carnage amongst themselves. It's fantastic. Yeah, so shut down weapons. This guy's getting a little too close. Yeah, so warp for you. And overload. Might as well. Get them all together. Get some AI hacking about to run out. Now, so we grab all of them. Throw a damping. On there. Easy peasy. Oh. Uh, he shot carnage into the shield. I guess the shield was probably put up by the, the one that I had AI hacked earlier. Okay, so almost ready. The next day I had him. Yeah, I mean, even Carnage at this point. Not really doing much of anything. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. And then the ones in the front. I'm just gonna get out of the way. Yeah. Make a more support damage. And shut down their weapons. They're all getting together. So another damping into the mix. Who's at full health? You're almost at full health. That's so they're basically just gonna sit there and uh, and look at each other now. And there's a singularity for all you. Get shock troopers. 
Yeah, I just toss them about. You, you never have to deal with more than four of these guys. So the moment I drop one, that's usually when the ship sends another one down. Yeah, I just did. Alright, so just drop them down. Shut down their weapons. Oh, nice carnage. Okay, barrier up. This guy's the only one I can fire, and of course I want him on my team. And I get out of line of sight. Now I can basically uh, execute his friends with impunity. Since, uh, since they can't do anything. Oh, another one just uh, joined the fight. So let's go ahead and overload him. Throw a warp on him. Actually, while we're at it, might as well throw the dampening mine as well. Take extra damage now. No, the one I hacked is still alive. Excellent. Well, who was still alive? Carnage, but missed. Keep it out in the middle. Yeah, shut down weapons. Throw this guy. <laughs> yeah. Another Carnage, that guy didn't even realize that I was sprinting. I mean, what were you thinking was going to happen there? Okay, now level up. Throw the barrier up. Uh, let's see. Hack this guy, get out of our line of sight. I usually try and hack the one that just came down. He has the, uh, the most health. And uh, yeah, make these guys more susceptible to damage. Throw a warp in there. Why not? Throw a dampening. Why is he not firing? Well, they're firing at him. I think he got bugged out or something. Well, oh, and that was it. That was the sound of the dropship preparing to leave. So he's just abandoning these, uh, these poor bastards over here. So they're in Singularity. Throw another tech mine. One of them, I think, just, just died. Um, yeah, let's not throw that guy. Which one is alive? This one. Okay. So a few melee attacks. Come on, buddy. What is with the flashlight being above his head? That's so weird. Yeah, he goes down. And as far as this one's concerned, just toss him into the wall, sort of. I think he broke his, uh, his back on this beam right here. Yeah, he's done. And that was it. That's yet another... another Indeed. So that is another world uh, completely cleared of the Geth. And with that, just one more to go. And it's a little bit later, I've traveled to the Vamshi system. This is the final of the four uh, systems within Astral Nebula that are available from the start. And the path leading up to the Geth outpost is protected by heavy Geth turrets. Now, you don't have to fight them, you can skip them. However, it's a very little work uh, for quite a bit of experience. Might as well grab them. So the Mako took a little bit of a beating there, but I think I managed to hack that turret. I think I hope I did. Yeah, I definitely did. Unfortunately, when you cannot see the health bar, there is no confirmation. But it is firing at its friends, and they're firing at it. But they're duking it out. And uh, basically, I'm going to be doing that all the way up. There is five turrets total. Uh, it almost got destroyed, but not, not quite. Probably took yeah, quite a bit of damage. So I'll just hop out. Let's see, hit it with sabotage, stop it from firing. Yara, throw the, um, throw the warp. And get out of there. Because, of course, the other turrets are still going. Now, I can proceed a little bit further and take control of the next one. While waiting on cooldowns. Well, we are cooldowns in this particular case. So, here we go. Kill it with AI hacking and get our line of sight. And I think another warp should be just about enough. Uh, but we're not quite ready for the warp. Okay, so sabotage on this one to shut it down. Okay, there we go. Is this gonna be enough? No. Okay. Fine. How about a melee attack? Would that be enough? Yep. It was. Excellent. While the other two, uh, well, two or three, not sure how many actually have line of sight on each other. This one took a little bit of damage. Not too much. Now, move up a little bit. Yeah, might as well grab this one. Okay, so hop outside, AI hacking. And get out of dodge. Yeah, it's firing up. And this one is probably going to start firing at it as well. It is. Oh, but it doesn't have a line of sight on it, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Well, the, the other one got destroyed just now. <laughs> I guess the final two had line of sight on it. 
because I'm going to uh, have to deal with this one by myself. That's okay. It'll take a little bit of time, but it's not, it's not difficult. It actually reminds me, uh, discovered kind of an awesome technique for, uh, for dodging the missiles. Basically, park the Mako, hop outside, the turret, uh, the turret locks on us, and then the moment it fires, just hop back in the Mako. <laughs> and then, you know, hop outside, use abilities and so forth on it, and then when it fires, hop inside the Mako. Yeah, I pretty much can never hit you this way. So uh, let's go ahead and shut it down. And warp. Yeah, you get the basic. Uh, you get the basic idea. You, you've already seen me take on a number of these. So <clears throat> there is uh, two more up the path that I need to take care of, and uh, I will be back when I've done that. And with the final turret destroyed, I can now move on to the uh, outpost. We've already seen this configuration a number of times. So pretty much same thing here once more. We got the uh, we got the snipers. We have the um, the Geth troopers, the rocket troopers. Sorry. Pull this guy out of his uh, little hidey hole. Kazi and Yara, don't stand in the phone like this, please. And throw. Excellent. Now, while he's doing that, actually, this is a little bit different. We only have uh, two sides uh, that are guarded, not all three. So, hack this guy. Starting to mess up his uh, sniper friend right there. Are you trying to shoot me? Oh, this guy got exploded. Now, warp on the sniper. Yep, so he's pretty much done at this point. Oh, I see. The uh, rocket trooper that I uh, levitated and then threw didn't die. Huh. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and remedy that. Now he's down for the count. I'm not even sure how he survived them in the first place. And we have a sniper, assassination, a couple more rocket troopers that we haven't seen. So, air hacking for you, and sabotage for you, plus a warp. So you're done. Now two rocket troopers are going to be uh, duking it out. Oh, I think this one got hit by sabotage. That is a little bit unfortunate. They both get hit by the sound They're just sitting there looking at each other. Menacingly, but not really doing much of anything else. Tie this one down. <laughs> Sabotage just ran out and uh, yeah, I shot his friend before quicker. Now damping. And let's pull him out of the tower. I think he might be the last, uh, the last of the guards here. I'm not really sure what these things are, but I guess they're important to the Geth, which is why they're guarding them. Okay, throw a uh, warp. That should pretty much be it. Oh, he possibly took up 100 damage from, from falling to the feet. Okay, and we have another Geth Colossus that we have to defeat. So, same, uh, same strategy as before. I'm gonna back out, let's see. They're right here. Let's put a marker right. Right there-ish. And try and get him to that marker. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. And unfortunately, that will do pretty much no fall damage to him. Which I don't think is right. Get Colossus, uh, look like he's, uh, looks like he's pretty, uh, he's pretty heavy. I don't know if this uh, system has, uh, or rather this planet has low gravity or something, but yeah. I believe he should be taking damage, but he's not. I mean, that's quite a long way to, uh, to fall down. So let's drag him up this way. It does seem like there is an abyss over there. However, it is, uh, yeah, it is beyond where I'm allowed to go. See the, the red line on the map indicating that that's out of bounds for me. So if I go over there, all that happens is I get teleported. And uh, yeah, I think if I manage to drag him over there to those hills, that should be just about enough. Oh, got lucky with that one. He got stuck to the vehicle and, uh, and allowed me to basically, uh, basically carry him a little bit. Okay, sorry, yeah, get up, there we go. No. 
can get away from him so he can stand up. He slided. Oh, get Colossus. How the mighty have fallen. In your case, quite literally. And a little more. Oh. That was pretty much a, a waste. Yeah, good job. Yeah, yeah, he just uh, he just exploded. So that was it. This is odd. I would have expected one of these outposts to be a main base of operations. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. It must be a message from a primary geth base. We can use that. And mysteriously, we get uh, teleported uh, back to the top. So done with this system and now we have unlocked a fifth system within the uh, Armstrong Nebula uh, cluster that was uh, previously unavailable and that's where we're going to find the primary geth base. So we also need to visit that to make sure that this geth incursion has failed. And on a small frozen moon inside the newly opened Grissom system we find uh, this, the primary geth base, guarded by two geth colossi. Colossi? Colossuses? Colossi. Let's go with that. And a number of smaller troops. Now, I think this is the first time in the mission that we don't, we don't need to defeat a Death Colossus. I think I can just uh, hop inside the bunker. Actually, let me see if that's true. Yeah, it seems like the, the door panel is active, so I can just hop inside and uh, not even bother with these guys. But of course, they're worth a ton of experience. So I'm going to try and defeat them. It's a little trickier because I'm under fire constantly, for one thing. And also, there is this little ledge I need to uh, overcome. but. That actually wasn't too bad. Here we go. And uh, let's see, maybe somewhere around here is where I need to drag this guy for him to uh, explode. Now we should be getting close. This terrain is deceptively difficult to uh, drag the Colossus over and it's taken about a couple of minutes to get him into this position. I'm not quite ready yet. Let's see, where, where is the, uh, the magical point? Because of course I have to uh, do this one more time. There is another Get Colossus back in the base. Alright, so carry him a little bit forward. And a little more. Come on, buddy. Where, where is the uh, where is the cutoff beyond which you're not allowed to wander? Oh boy. Need to hit him with a little more power. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you, you pretty much uh, just keep him in one place. He's really, he's really fighting me those, uh, those last few feet. Oh, there we go. Okay. So just a little uh, beyond this, this drop off. Yeah, and as I said, it phases. Uh, so if I, uh, yeah, he just disappeared. Okay. So back to the base. Let's see, it's about there. Back to the base to grab the other Colossus. And we're now very, very close with the second Colossus. To the spot where the first one exploded. Ah, just a little more. Somewhere around here. Also very close to the uh, the barrier. Oh, there it goes. Excellent. And now uh, back to our uh, mop up. Looks like uh, three rocket troopers. Fairly easy. Oh, I think I uh, fired there by accident. Yeah, let's try throw singularity up there. That pretty much got <laughs> absolutely nobody. Okay. And as far as this guy is concerned, oh, he's just getting. Oh, he got destroyed. He got absolutely destroyed. I think the might have as well. I uh, might have. Uh, yeah. So, my bad. He must have gotten uh, taken out just as I was uh, getting inside the Mako. So, this guy's pretty much uh, done. And back to the uh, first of these guys. Yeah. Stop shooting at the Mako. There he goes. Oh, he's done as well. Now, let's see what's uh, actually inside the base. How are we doing on uh, cooldowns? Looks like most of the abilities are back up. Oh, that, uh, that is the sound of a ghost. What else? Oh, a bunch of stuff. What is that? Is that a juggernaut? If it is a juggernaut, I can take control of it. If it's a prime, I cannot. Oh my goodness, I think it, is, I think it was a juggernaut. Close the door. <laughs> Let him fight. 
Oh wow, the Juggernaut is just destroying these guys. Yeah, I'll throw some Gilardi in there. Make it a little bit easier for him. Yeah, let's uh, make a more susceptible to damage. And throw a warp. Yeah. Wow, how many destroyers in this room? A lot. Yeah, the Juggernaut is just raining fire on them. Quite literally. Okay, this guy's Darker is still alive. Somehow. And let's see. Take down your ability to use weapons. Oh, charging me. Okay, that's uh, unexpected. And this guy as well. Oh, unity up. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the uh, singularity. Right here. I could refresh the cooldown of immunity, but um, I don't really feel like it. So another warp, sabotage, basically just throw everything we have at these guys. Take care of them ourselves. Not exactly difficult, so this one is down. And Liara seems to be struggling with the cooldown for some reason. That is, uh, that is odd. I, I don't know, marry me, marry me. Not tell you. I'll just put him down with a sniper shot to the face. Yeah, that's fine. I wonder what happened with uh, Magnaro's cooldowns. Was the, was the stalker responsible? Somehow hit her through the wall or something? Might have. Those guys do have dampening. So uh, maybe one of them hit Liara somehow through the wall. Shouldn't happen, but eh, what are you going to do? So, lift for this guy. Yeah, Juggernaut. Good thing too, because uh, if I had been a I would have been able to uh, take control of it. I feel like he uh, took out a couple of, uh, of ghosts, at least. So another dampening. Yeah, once he's on the ground, just keep him there. A few melee attacks. I'm taking a lot of damage from these melee attacks. It's probably because Warp is still active on him. Yeah. As the last gap falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, a quarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling a mournful a cappella of worlds and innocence lost. And reco the recorded song is dispatched to the geth worlds behind the Perseus veil. The transmitter shuts down. And of course, uh, as I said earlier, Tali is going to want <laughs> nice. Tali is going to want some uh, some geth data that we're going to find in this facility. But uh, that completes the uh, the geth incursions assignment. One of the toughest in all of Mass Effect One for sure. A lot of uh, geth uh, colossi. Um, a, a couple of Geth Primes. I mean, these are units that you don't see in um, in most of the uh, uh, in most of the main missions, even in Mass Effect. Yeah, I need to get back to the Citadel to sell things soon. Uh, right here is the Geth Terminal. You don't really see those uh, units too much until the the very end of the game. I mean, yeah, there was a Geth Colossus on uh, on Theron, but that's really more the exception than the rule. So I completed looting the uh, the place, and with this, uh, I think I'm going to um, to call it an episode right here. As always, thank you very much for watching, and if you had fun, consider tuning in for the next. Bye for now.